Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mr. Gear. I am going to show you today how to set up your online student textbook for science. So first step you're going to want to do is open up your browser, Internet Explorer, Google, whatever you have. Uh, in the search box you want to type in connect. And then add. Or you could put it no spaces, whichever. Uh, and the search will open up to McGraw-Hill. You want to click on that. Now mine is already default, it's saved in here because that's part of my Chrome uh, settings. But you guys, you're going to want to go to create a new account, which is right here at the bottom for new users. So you click on that. Okay, and it's going to ask you uh, for your redemption code. Now I'm going to give you guys all this in class, but I'm going to also link it at the bottom in the description part of this video. I have it here, and you can use this same one. Um, I'm going to try and copy and paste it over. And okay, it worked. Register. And then this is where, obviously, you put your first, uh, first name, last initial. So I'm just going to do um, take student1 and then initial F. Okay. You don't have to put your student ID. If you want to, that's up to you. Then you click Finish. Oh. Okay, that doesn't work for fake first name. We'll just do fake student. And Finish. Okay, so uh, it says congratulations. You have successfully registered. Your information is displayed below. I highly recommend that you save your uh, login and password here. So this is what you're going to need to get into your your online textbook. So this username here, fake stud F2, and your password fakes 486. Uh, print that off or write that down on a separate sheet of paper, whatever you need to do to keep that saved. Now, obviously you can change this once you log in. So I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff over so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, and then obviously got to get the username. And let's see what this looks like when you want to log in for your first time. Oh, okay, so you don't even have to do it. It'll take you right into the login screen here. Uh, and then if you log out, um, then you have to obviously re-put it. You have to put it back in. So no matter what, you're still going to want to write down that password. Um, I'm just going to do it here just to show you. And there we go. Nope, did not forget. Sorry, misclick. Okay. Uh oh. I think I may have put that in wrong. Oh, yep, I forgot the F. Yeah, very important that you have the exact password that you set up trying to, uh, that you put that in when you're trying to log in or it won't let you do it. Now, I'm not going to save that because that's not my default one. Um, and here's your book. Obviously, you can click on the book and it will take you into it. It's the same exact thing as your actual textbook. And there's even more resources here that, you know, in another video, I think I may go over with you guys. So uh, you have the glossary you can quickly get to, table of contents. Um, but just like this, and it looks just like this in your actual textbook. Okay, guys, so this was just meant to show you how to get into your online textbook. Uh, if you have any questions about this, obviously, you can come see me in class, uh, and I'd be glad to answer them. Or um, if it's your parents that are looking at this, you can send me an email, and I would uh, have no problem getting back to you and uh, answering anything uh, that I can help you with with this. So, okay, well, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope this was helpful for you.